All right, just thought I'd do a quick video showing you the supremacy of Scripture as described in the Word of God. The supremacy of Scripture, not the supremacy of Catholic traditions, not the supremacy of the Pope or the Papal Bulls or the Church Fathers, many of whom were, you know, the, the predecessors to the apostate heathen, Greco-Roman heathen, Roman Catholic Church, and how they put their traditions above Scripture. But I'm going to show you that Scripture is sufficient for doctrine, for faith, and practice. Okay? Now, obviously, learning from teachers is scriptural. Okay? 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 2 talks about learning from other brethren. Okay? 1 Timothy chapter 5, you know, talks about elders and that kind of stuff. So it is scriptural to learn from uh, other brethren, especially elders. But you don't have to blindly follow what they say above scripture, which is what the Catholics do. They blindly follow what their priest says. They think the Pope has papal infallibility. But they don't understand that scripture is sufficient for faith and practice, not traditions, not what the man of God says, because he should be always turning you back to the scriptures. So anyway, I'm going to show you what the word of God says about this whole issue, about how the scriptures are sufficient for Christian faith and practice, not traditions, not papal bulls, not creeds, not anything else. Okay, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 15 to 17. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee or make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. What is able to make thee wise unto salvation? The holy scriptures. From now from thou hast from sorry says that thou from hast from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures got the thing paraphrased mixed up right there but from a child you knew the holy scriptures so it kind of makes a problem for this oh the the only the church can read the bible the ordinary the laity can't read the bible they can't understand the bible uh, from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures you know studying the word of god is command you can read about that in joshua chapter 1 verse 8 about meditating and studying the Holy Scriptures, God's Word, the Law of God, as it's referred to in that verse. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. For the Word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry, Paul. It actually should have been Scripture plus the papal traditions are discerned of the thoughts and tents of the heart and sharper than any two-edged sword. Uh, no, Paul doesn't say that. For the word of God is quick and powerful, not heathen Roman Catholic traditions. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 19 to 21. We have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto... Uh, we ye do well that you take heed, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day, till the day dawn and the day star rise in your hearts, knowing this first that no prophecy of the Scripture is of any private interpretation, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. I covered this in one of my other videos. Where did Scripture come from? Holy men who spake by the under the uh, inspiration of the Holy Ghost. Okay doesn't come from papal traditions or the catholic church or the pope it came from god that's where the scriptures came from you can also read about that in first thessalonians 2 13 where the scriptures come from jeremiah chapter 23 verse 28 to 29 the prophet that hath a dream let him tell a dream and he that hath my word, let him speak my word faithfully. What is chaff to the wheat, saith the Lord? Is not my word as a fire, saith the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces? Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry, God. It should have been the, the papal traditions and the Catholic Church Catechism and the church councils are as a fire. No, it's the word of God. Even God himself says that. And in uh, Psalms 138, God says he exalts his, I think it's Psalms 138 verse 2, God says he exalts his word higher than higher than his own name. And keep in mind, the name of God, the name of Jesus Christ, you know, in the Old Testament, and for example, in Exodus chapter 6 verse 3, the name of God was Jehovah. And it still is Jehovah, obviously. But 
Acts chapter 4, verses uh, t- t- 10 to 12. It says that the name of Jesus, there's no salvation outside the name of Jesus. So the name of God is very, very important, very, very extremely important. There's no salvation without it. Yet Psalm, Psalm 138 says that he exalts his, his uh, word above his own name. And then here he says, is not my word like as a fire? Not are the Catholic traditions are like as a, as a fire, my word. So God says there, the scriptures are sufficient. Psalms 19 verses 7 to 8. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. It's the word of God, the law of the Lord that does that. That converts the soul, makes the simple wise, enlightens the eyes, rejoices the heart. Never traditions of men, never papal traditions of men. The law of the Lord, the holy scriptures. That's sufficient for the Christian faith and practice. That is what is sufficient for faith and doctrine, for instruction and in righteousness. Not the Catholic traditions of men, but the Holy Word of God. So don't be deceived by the Roman Catholic Church and their heathen man-made traditions. They are The Roman Catholic Church is a Greco-Roman heathen cult. All it is is just simply Greco-Roman pagan religion repackaged. That's all it is. It's not Christian whatsoever. It's a heathen, Babylonian, Greco-Roman, Egyptian, Mesopotamian, Hindu, you name it. It's all those uh, heathen religions, and it's basically um, a Greco-Roman Babylonian perversion of Bible-believing Christianity. So don't be deceived by the Roman Catholic Church. Scripture is all you need for faith and practice. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.